and we're here with Jim Lauterbeck from Revision 3, who, is, uh, who has a background in traditional media uh, and uh, is really developing internet television. Hi, Jim. Hi, it's good to be here. Thanks. Uh, how do you think the show is so far? The show is awesome. This is a great combination. It's all the energy and the mind, and I just it's a great group think. It's really good. But you, you, can you a little bit tell me your background in, uh, in traditional media? Sure, yeah. I actually fell into traditional media. I don't have a media background. I'm a, I have a math degree and a business degree. But uh, I started writing about the programs I was building and fell into it in 91. So I worked at a magazine, uh, at running the lab, and then I was editor-in-chief, and then uh, started up a, a cable traditional television network, and then ran websites, and uh, then was given back a magazine about two years ago, along with all the websites and online video that I was doing. So and then I said, forget it all. I'm going to go back and do online video. Because in the last, especially since the 90s when, when internet came up, but especially since the last five years with the growth of uh, Web 2.0, I have the feeling that traditional media, the old media, big media networks are a little bit afraid of uh, uh, the, the on-demand video or more the, the programs that are built around user-generated content. How do you see the relationship between the two? Uh, I think traditional media is going to try and figure this space out for a long time. I think some of them will get it, some of them won't. The ones that won't are going to end up get, going into the market and spending a lot of money for companies that do. So it's good for us. So and because where do you see the real um, revenue for uh, both the traditional and new media? Advertising, purely advertising. Advertising. But don't you think that advertising should change because people don't want to hear ads. People, especially the people that are into Web 2.0 and go to new media, listen to podcasts, the video podcasts, um, they want to have authentic information. How do you see that? Well, it's changing already. I mean, advertising is just a means of getting somebody uh, to understand your brand, to approach it, to realize what it is, and then hopefully to buy something from you. And we all want more information. Advertising is just another form of information. So, final question. How do you see the relationship between new media and traditional media in five years' time? Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be talking about new media and traditional media. It's all just going to be media delivered in all these different ways. So how then, let's rephrase the question then. How do you see the relationship between the, let's say, old big networks and the small mini media companies that you see growing now very rapidly? Uh, I think some of the old networks will fade away or merge and some of the new ones that are emerging will become big. Okay, thank you very much and enjoy the show.